So, you bought one of these VFC SMGs, and while you haven't heard of any recent issues with the cocking support tube breaking, you're still concerned over how many potential successful slaps yours has left in it. I promise I won't hurt you. Could that handsome badabing guy just be unlucky? In such uncertain times, let's sort this out and discuss it. How you doing everyone, I'm Badabing, and I am back with the HK MP5, and I'll be talking to you about the HK Slap. Again. No, this isn't deja vu, although you would be forgiven for thinking so. Now, the VFC gas blowback MP5A5 sat right here has an upsetting history with regards to its cocking support tube, and I was able to break the original piece. You see, the original tube was made of bone china, and after one too many slaps, it decided to break in two. Unfortunately, you don't have many options when it comes to replacements. You can replace it with a factory part by contacting VFC themselves. Alternatively, you can order through their local vendors, but then it'll still be aluminium or something similar. If you are lucky enough to be somewhere in the vicinity of a real HK part support network, you could throw a real one in, which should outlive your toy MP5 by about 800 years. And if you couldn't find the discontinued Crusader Steel upgrade, a WE Apache cocking support tube will drop right in too, and those are steel I might add. So those are your options, until now. Allow me to introduce you to Clutch Precision. These guys are freshly established in 2023 and are manufacturers of high-end upgrade parts for gas blowbacks, and they're based in Germany. As well as the upgrade part, which I'll be talking about in a minute, they also have some interesting upgrades for the VFC G36 version 2 GBBR and the VFC MP7A1 gas blowback PDW. Now, back to the focus on today's video, I am psyched to have been sent their brand new steel cocking support tube for the VFC MP5s, specifically the full-sized MP5s. The VFC MP5Ks don't need upgrading, as they are already steel. That's why it's going to work. Clutch Precision replicated the VFC tube, and that ensures full compatibility with these MP5s. All you need is your original roll pin to secure the handle, and the detent and spring for the nose of the tube. The tube itself is made of number 45 steel, which is CNC machined, and is topped off with a black phosphate coating, and the resulting finish is rather smooth indeed. It looks like the perfect addition to our MP5s, and far, far superior to the factory model. The assembly is identical to the real one, and there are plenty of guides on this platform that can explain this process, but I shan't be performing this, as YouTube do get a bit funny when you start making guides and things. But it's a straightforward process. Before dropping it in, of course it's best to drop some lube on the tube, and I'm using Super Lube Synthetic Multipurpose Grease. The perfect HK slap. So, with the clutch precision steel cocking support tube now in the VFC MP5, and I gotta say, it's a good fit. The support tube itself, really minimal play with inside the, the cocking tube itself. No side to side play. The VFC one, yeah, you got a little bit of movement, but not as much with the clutch precision one, so they got the tolerances really, really tight. Speaking of tight tolerances, the pin which secures the handle itself, now it needed a lot of persuasion to get it in, but once it's in place, it holds onto the handle perfectly, there's no wobbling, no lateral movement, nothing, it's just it's holding onto it rock solid. Um, that's what you want, so and that allows you to do the old HK slap without worrying about this breaking off or it just becoming loose. It's just really super tight and solid. If I just hold, manually hold back the bolt carrier here and send the handle forward, or the, the whole cocking assembly forward, 
you notice that the spring and detent is holding on to its position uh, inside the recess, inside the MP5. And that's not going anywhere because it's got such a, a really good hold on the recess inside the MP5. It takes a little bit of extra pressure, uh, a little bit extra pressure to break that seal. But once you've done that, it's perfect. So unfortunately, BFC's MP5 does that weird bolt hold open sort of thing. Yeah, not very good. But when it's in that position and the bolt is just away from the cocking support tube itself, the handle isn't going to follow it downwards unless you actually mean for it to happen by breaking that seal. So it just takes a little bit of a knock and then it disconnects. But apart from that, it is holding its position perfectly. And And you can do this until your heart's content, which is never. I don't care what anyone says, this does not get old. And the action, because of that beautiful phosphate coating, it's nice and slick. Love it. So just out of interest, how do you slap yours? Do you like to do traditional slap down like this? or if you'd like to be fancy and have your fire control hand come out, if you're, obviously, if you're not in a rush, and give it across the MP4. See, I missed it completely as if. <sighs> All right, I'll try that again, shall I? Take two. I don't, I don't know, I, I quite like a good come across the MP5 like that, you know? And then, I, you know, I do like a good slam down from the top like that. I don't know. I've spent a good amount of time racking and sending the bolt home on this MP5 since installing the upgrade. There's nothing more to say other than it just works. From installation to the 500th side swipe, it rocks. Massive thanks to Clutch Precision for sending me their steel cocking tube to slap around. It's a solid product that does the job. And really, it makes a lot of sense. Considering what VFC are charging for their replacement, you could spend an extra £15 and you'll never have to address it again. It's an affordable investment for the future of your MP5. Thank you for watching the video, my friends. I'm delighted you could join me. To my returning subscribers, I appreciate all the support you've given me over the years and I wouldn't be where I am today without you. If you're not yet subscribed, why not stick around and enjoy the coffee and gun porn? You can see cool updates on my Facebook and Instagram if you're into social media. So that's about it for me. Look after yourselves, my friends. Catch you in a bit.